One does not simply download Steam CMD and install the Return to Moria server files because Steam doesn't show them in the tool section like they're supposed to. All right, anyways, here's the uh, link. You're going to copy it. I'll have it in the comments below. Just open any browser, it doesn't matter. Throw it up in there. It's going to download. Go ahead and open it up. What we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to copy this. We're going to copy the zip folder. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for this demonstration. You're going to want to move it out of your downloads folder somewhere. It'll be on here. Right click it. Then you're going to extract. Click extract. Give it a second. It'll extract. You'll have this application in here. You're going to double click the application, open it. And if you're following along, I've got the commands on the right side here. Make them a little bigger for you to see. So right now we're running the exe. All right, that finished running. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to type in login space anonymous. Press enter. Give it a second to connect. Okay, looks like it's connected. Next thing we're going to do is type in this line here. You're not going to use the asterisks. Press enter. And then you're going to wait for it. It's probably going to take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. I think it's almost 4 gigs, 3.5 gigs, something like that. But I'll be back with you once this is done. All right, we're back in here. It looks like it has finished verifying the update. Perfect, it did finish installing it. All we're gonna do is click in here, type exit, press enter, it'll close. Now we need to go to Steam apps. This is under the Steam CMD folder. Just a reminder, don't go to the actual Steam directory. It downloads it to this directory because we didn't specify somewhere else for it to go like some of the tutorials do. We're gonna go to Steam apps, common, return to Mori dedicated server, and all our files are in here. So what we're going to do is go back up to the common folder up here, right click on it and copy it, and we're just going to paste it on our desktop. And we can go to close these windows out, we don't need these anymore. I'll leave this up in case you need it. Now that this is done, we're going to open it up. And like I said, these are the folders, or the files rather that you'll need to install the server, and you can follow the rest of my guide in my other video that I created. If you have any issues, just let us know in the Discord, in the ds-chat, and we'll help you out.